Today, we're going to bring a digital microscope with a screen that has 10 inches. We're going to take a look at it and see what you get. But first of all, just to let you guys know, the vendor was kind enough to send this out for us to review. We're going to take a look at it and see what you get. Now, it does come with a lot of features that are included in front of the box. So first of all, out of the box, you get the, you get the actual manual. You get a cloth. This is a clean cloth for the actual lens, all right? And then you get the actual screen. Look at the screen size. It's about 10 inches like they say that it was. It, it takes the majority of the uh, box. I'm going to put this on the side, of course. But I just want you to see the actual monitor itself. It's a whole huge monitor. In back of it, there's actually the, the, the memory card is included in the back. And I've never seen that included in the system itself. So you get the memory, which is about 32 gigs included with it. Micro HDMI connection. The memory card slot with the SD, micro SD card, and then a, a, a type C connection and then a type A connection here. And of course, you got the actual agility of um, moving this up and down. And if you guys can see, you can see the actual uh, uh, camera and what the LED lights included with it. And of course, there's a base cover to cover the whole thing up. And uh, of course, a focus in and you can focus in here. If you guys can see that this is actually to focus in or zoom in and zoom out. That's pretty much what it is. The, the actual system itself, there's actually a power button here. There's an arrow, a left arrow, OK, a right arrow, and then the menu. And of course, in here, there's for the uh, IR connection for the actual remote control. So if you want to remote this, all right, really simple. Remove the plastic when you're starting. All right, let's take a look at the whole entire unit here. You have these two independent lights, if you guys can see it, with the gooseneck actually expandable, flexible necks. And these are going to need power. And in back of it, you get a type C, a type C or a type A. And that's how you, it comes with two type C's in case you have extra power connections in your laptop or your desktop to power it up. You can do that. So you have this base in here. And this is where you can actually set up all the, all the systems that you're going to be working on. Or you could independently work on, on a separate and just rotate it the opposite way if you want. If you don't want to use this. You can actually just roll this, this, but you can use the LED lights to help you out. So this is a perfect thing to do. Now, besides that, like I said, they give you a type C, a type A, and then the power cord, HDMI to a, a micro HDMI, and then the actual neck. And this is an expandable neck to actually elevate even higher. So we're going to end up rotating this in here and you could actually rotate it properly and net, lock it in in case it's not rotated properly. So I'm going to rotate this in here set it up and that's pretty much what you do and this is the base that goes in here that you marry these two so we're going to marry these we lock it in there and we have it in place side angle we have this system that where it's long enough but we're going to rotate it down to the bottom we all right we're going to talk about this piece first itself and i just went and go ahead and plug it in now it, underneath of it there's a sliding touching a touch feature that you slide to turn on the actual um uh, lamps itself. So I'm going to actually turn one down and one go up so you guys can see it. So this is actually a feature. They're not independently. You actually folk, um, control both of them with one side. So if you want to turn it off, you slide it all the way to the left. You want to turn it brighter all the way to the right. And you can center it. Keep it in the center if you want. So that's pretty much how you control the lighting itself on this. And like I said, this is an independent uh, uh, HDMI, I mean independent type C connection into it. So um, which is great. You could slide it in and out, turn it off and out because when you turn it on, you don't see it, but it's underneath of it, really underneath and it glows too. So you can actually see it in here. So this is a great feature. I, I it had me a couple of minutes actually looking for it. So for saving you guys the trouble and the time, there's no clicking buddy, no touching or anything else, but other than touching on the bottom of the part. So, which is great. This is a ni nice feature that they included in. All right, here we're gonna start an actual penny. And if you guys can see, I actually put the screen itself here. And this for y'all co coin collectors out there, this is perfect. I'm not even zoom in completely. I'm actually, I had to elevate this thing so I could actually move the actual penny around. Let me take an external shot so you guys can see how well this thing is. I'm not even 
I elevated this, I actually took out the necks just so I could get a little bit closer, but you can even get even closer because look at the top, the back of it. I'm actually on the top. And if I wanna roll, if you guys can see that, I'm actually going all the way down to see even more fine print. And now you gotta do is focus on this. You focus on the side of it. If you guys can see, I'm focusing. Let me grab this on, make sure I'm focusing right. And there we go, we're focusing. And look at that. Look, even more details you can see. All right, this is my little setup we're gonna do. We're gonna die. we're gonna try to solder some cable over. If you guys can see, I have the screen set up so I could actually capture uh, what I'm doing. And at the same time, I could record this. I can do manual stuff with it. And then, like you said, you have the manual button here that you could actually just um, change certain features instead of me um looking at the system and i could transfer the video over from my from this system device over to my computer by the push of a button so it gives you the option not not just the actual uh display to but actual to capture it and once you save the items it could capture it directly to your computer or you can transfer it easy to use but we have a motherboard here that we're gonna dissect we're gonna actually set up a, a fan and we're gonna have it at 320 degrees solder. So let's go ahead and do that first. So you're working with computers or any kind of chips and you wanna be able to solder certain things. Uh, for example, we're gonna take this fan here. Instead of ha us having a connection to the actual fan, we're gonna see if we could actually solder some of the, of the pins completely permanent. Well, get some solder in here. Get on the first one, that's what we're gonna do. Try to see if we can move it just a little bit, you know, right there. We're gonna see where we can actually capture some of the stuff, get some solder in there. It's been going in there. It's good enough. Good enough. This one. Let's do this. You got that Mary right there. You guys can see it. That was a perfect marriage right there. Um, we could fix it up a little bit more. Put some more solder if you want. We could make it better, but perfect contact with it. We made the contact with the actual solder to the system. And it's, look at this. It's not the best solder <laughs> you've ever seen, but it's doing its job. And it just, you could use this for multiple things. So let's go ahead and clean this up. All right, I'm gonna compare with another device. I have similar device. Now look at the one on the left and the one on the right. 10 inches, look how big and large it is. Now this one here, you're gonna need a lot of things to set up first. And the remote control is, is tethered in, all right? And of course you have a independent control on this side so you could manipulate and make changes on the go. So you have two different types in. And it's about the same type of devices. They have the similar LED lights. Uh, um, microscopes are a little bit more powerful on the right than the left, of course. You know, we, we have a larger screen, lar a larger infrastructure that we could um, change. Like we could change the actual neck. And this one is permanent. It's actually fixed to the actual base itself where you can actually make multiple changes on this one itself and increase the size of it. Or you could actually add larger device, larger items to um, inspect. So. That's another great thing about these devices. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.